HD doesn't just exist in one facet of a human being. There are so many parts of a person that are affected by it. Um, cognition is affected. Motor symptoms are impaired. Uh, psychiatric symptoms become present. The individual symptoms are just a part of the treatment plan. Um, in addition to that, there are socioeconomic factors um, and there are familial systemic issues that occur because of it. And, and each of these things, while none of them can be fixed by any one person, you know, as a social worker, I can talk to a family about how to accommodate um, a person with HD by modifying their environment, by modifying their reaction or, or plans as a caregiver for um, talking to their children, for financial planning. I can do all of these things that mitigate some of the damage that occurs from HD. A neurologist can treat a person's motor symptoms uh, with medication that's proven effective. Uh, a psychiatrist can effectively treat and care for the psychiatric symptoms that a person's experiencing. And the cognition changes, while we can't reverse them, we can become more aware of how they affect a person and we can change our expectations for that individual and we can modify the things we ask them to do so that they're still able to function at a very high level for where they are within the disease. So while there's not any one thing that you can step into an HD family and say, here is this little pill and it's going to take care of everything. When you put all of these interventions in one box and they all work in concert with each other, successful living really is possible. And ultimately that's what we hope for for our patients is the longest amount of high quality of life as they progress through this disease and letting them know that while we can't fix it, there's a tremendous amount of hope for happiness and longevity and just good quality time with yourself and the rest of your family as the disease progresses.